Welcome to this RX 32-bit MCU HMI solution kit webinar. We're going to talk about HMI today. HMI means human machine interface and human machine interfaces gets more and more important from so many different applications nowadays. Before we get any further, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Ben Westhoff. I'm taking care for the RX uh, MCU product marketing in Europe, um, located in Dusseldorf, German office. And if you find any issue or have a request, please feel free to get in touch to me and I try to help you on those items. So the content of today's RX Display Solution Kit webinar will be about a bit of background for HMI, what's that? at all. Um, why do we have to choose the right MCU at the very start of any project and at the end of the day why is the graphical user interface itself remains the man of the most important parts for your application. And since the GUI is pretty important we have different choices so I will introduce you to a couple of those and uh, I will further discuss how it all works, the display solution kit, how it will be beneficial for your actual design. And last but surely not least, I try to summarize all the results. So let's get started. So HMI, human mesh interface, is not that new, but it has been renewed by the means of new display styles. We used to have a segment displays in many applications as a sufficient interface to the human being. But nowadays, since a lot of smartphones are populated, people really like to have a kind of smartphone style smart HMI on many devices. Um, so therefore, all the engineers today have a challenge to integrate latest HMI technology means TFT into the application where they used to have only segment displays so far. Um, so the question or the challenge for all these engineers is to choose or to select a quite cost-effective solution uh, driving a TFT using an MCU where they used to have just the same budget available for driving an L uh, segment display. So that's a bit of challenge, as you know, and uh, I'm trying to help you on that kind of challenge a bit. So, but before we go any further on that kind of scheme, let's go to the HMI theory at, uh, for a start. So, first of all, if you want to display a uh, picture on a TFT, you have to store a bitmap uh, which needs to be displayed then later on on the TFT in a kind of RAM, a kind of memory. It could be internal memory, it could be outside memory, outside of the MCU, however it needs to be there and you need quite a lot of memory because the bitmaps or the images could be pretty large. And it all depends also on the bit count or bit size pixel or color depth as we call it for each individual pixel on that display. So usually we have 24 bit or 16 bit color depth per pixel means a 3 byte or 2 bytes per pixel need to be, uh, need to be uh, available in the memory. That means, it's actually an easy calculation, um, that means for white QVGA which is screen size of 480 by 272 you roughly need 130,000 pixels, means 261,000 bytes, considering a 16-bit color depth. And that means for driving a white QVGA screen, for one single image buffer, you most likely use 255 kilobytes. As you can see, 255 kilobytes, that's somehow pretty much far above any existing MCUs with embedded. Obviously, we have a couple of devices with 255 kilobytes of RAM embedded, but usually, and I'm going to show you that on the next slide, you like to have two buffers or two image frames capped in the RAM for an easy switching. 
So this is considered as a kind of double buffering concept where you basically um, have a video pointer pointed to one uh, buffer, it's called primary surface, and you can modify the back buffer by your microcontroller, by your graphic controller, uh, modify it, update it, and then as soon as that's finished, you can switch the video pointer to the other primary screen's buffer. Uh, that enables you to make quite nice transitions between different pictures where you don't see half-finished pictures on the screen by accident. So that's the kind of concept you usually take care for HMI. You need to have a kind of double buffering concept usually. Um, you can make get rid of that if your image on the screen would be quite stable, quite fixed, and not so much changing, not so few anim and not so many animations seen there. But buffer double buffering is really recommended. And at the end, it all starts with choosing the right microcontroller for your HMI application. Renazas offers you a wide range of different controllers and as a one specific parts or some one specific area of devices, the RX microcontrollers and there specifically the 600 and 700 product line is fitting quite nicely to that HMI requirement since they have an XDMA feature integrated to drive a TFT autonomously. These RX devices offers you 100, 200, 220 MHz CPU performance and comes with a memory sizes of 4 MB flash with 512 KB RAM embedded. Um, so these controllers are ideal fit for driving screen sizes up to white QVGA with a 16-bit color depth and doing so the CPU itself we just only um, loaded by 5% doing the kind of refreshing of static images. So that's pretty low CPU load and you will have remaining CPU performance for your own application purpose which is quite kind of nice. And from feature set, from graphical animation point of view, the RX will be able to supply or support you on buttons, slide bars, indicators, and surely it will be able to drive a touch screen as well. So how does it look like from system concept point of view? On the left hand side you see the microcontrol, the RX, with all the peripherals, with all the um, peripherals like uh, Ethernet, USB, CAN, etc. And on the right hand side, you see the display itself, including a touch screen. And in the middle, you see the memory, which is supposed to be a SD RAM or SRAM, a uh, pseudo SRAM is also possible. So, this kind of memory is, could be used to offer frame buffer memory. Frame buffer required for having the double buffer concept, as I explained before. Um, in your system. So the RX would be then able, using XDMA feature, to collect the data from the frame buffer which is added to the microcontroller as a two-chip concept, uh, to take that data from that buffer and move it to the TFT without involving CPU at all. So this is a complete autonomous activity of the microcontroller where CPU is not involved. Means that's why we can achieve this 5% CPU load and um, that's quite beneficial for your overall application because you keep saving man much of the performance for your own application purpose. So looking to the wide range of RX products um, not every RX device can support this XDMA feature, but a wide range can do that. And uh, most likely these devices are linked to the connectivity scenario, connectivity product lineup. And this includes the RX 621, 631, 62N, 63N, as well as the 64M and brand new 71M as well. So all of these offers you XDMA feature enabling you to connect the TFT quite nicely and easy. 
So in overall, RX gives you additional benefits. It's not only the TFT connection, as you have seen, but also offers you a wide scalable product lineup with many different packages, flash versions and uh, RAM versions, as well as Data E from uh, flash included. It also integrates a lot of different peripherals, 12-bit A to D, um, DACs, memory protection unit, floating point unit, also Ethernet, USB CAN, and a large quantity of different SCI channels. It offers you application-specific features like motor control, uh, including window comparator and FP, uh, PGAs. Um, it enables you even to drive two motors with a single MCU. And it's quite powerful device, offering you two DMAPs per megahertz. In overall, it's a leading edge device, offering you also 4.55 call mark per megahertz. And if you're going to check that online, you will see we are one of the leading cores in that kind of class of devices. Market leading mono flash technology is one of the benefits on the RX devices. Only RX offers you 120 MHz flash operation without weight state. Uh, it's a random access weight, a uh, random access flash access, um, which is quite unique and only RX can offer. So overall CPU performance is rated to 240 MHz and this is pretty fast compared to that what offer competition can offer. But at the end of the day, it's a GUI, the graphic user software, which remains the visible part. The microcontroller most likely will be invisible at the end of the day in your application. So you have to put specific focus on the GUI selection. Um, and for that purpose, we have teamed up with a couple of different suppliers in that kind of uh, GUI software domain. Um, very well-known third parties like TESS with the Guliani software package, SEGA with the MWIN, Trautner with their Touch GFX, Express Logic with their GUI X, and IS2T with MicroHA. So all of these third parties have developed ready-to-go packages running on the RX, making your design much easier. However, it remains that you have to evaluate these kind of different solutions before you're going to select. And that evaluation could take a long time because you have to install each individual solution on your kit, on your hardware. And for that purpose, we actually did a kind of efforts and provided the display the solution kit, which is going to explain you later how easy it could be to make an evaluation of one of those different suppliers. But before we're going to have a closer look to the actual kit uh, working, let's have a look at the different GUI softwares. It's just a brief look, don't want to go into detail of each individual one, but just give you a first glance at the different features of each individual supplier. So this one is the GUI middleware by Segar. Um, the GUI software is called MWIN. And MWIN is a quite nicely uh, form factor, little, little uh, footprint um, GUI software. It uh, will ship as C source code, will be available for um, anybody to modify if they like. Uh, it's uh, basically able to run into an operation system, an RTOS system, but also can be handled by a single task environment. The next one I'm going to show you is the TESS. Their software package, their GUI software package called Guliani. And uh, it's a C++ software framework. Um, they have quite nice uh, appearance on the display as well. Nice uh, graphics elements embedded on their GUI software. Um, they have a GUI builder available as well making the development of a GUI quite easy. Everybody could do kind of GUI building by PC and then you transfer the results to 
the actual device to the RX. The next GUI software is uh, developed or has been developed by IS2T. Uh, their GUI software called uh, Micro EJ. And uh, Micro EJ is basically, basically um, embedded Java for microcontrollers. Embedded Java allows you to develop software uh, platform platform independent you can actually run that kind of software on any micro EJ enabled device and as part of that micro EJ package they have a GUI software as well which offers you basic uh, graphical user experience the next one is the GUI software touch GFX designed by Droughtner Graphics, it's a Danish company, and um, they have quite nice smartphone-like GUI software developed, uh, quant runs quite pretty nice on the RX device, as you can see by the demo software, demo running on the display kit, if you're going to get that in on your hands. Um, so pretty nice appearance and uh, they have a um, design tool for that purpose as well, so you can easily design, modify as you need to your needs the software. And last but not least, in this kind of scheme, uh, this is not an actual third party solution kit or GUI software, but it's our own Renaissance owned uh, GUI software. We call it Direct Drive LCD demo. This demo is freely available, you can download that from our web page. If you can't find it, get in touch to us, we're going to point you to it. Um, this software is uh, available, as I said, a source code. Um, it's based on free Arthos as operation system, but however, you not necessarily need an operation system to get that running. Um, for easiness, we had put it or we had linked it up with free Arthos. Uh, it runs on 6.2n and RX6.3n as well as on RX6.4m. Um, so if you have any demands on these, please let us know. We're going to help you. <coughs> However, looking to the different GUI software solutions, how does it work actually on the display solution kit? I try to explain you that on on the next couple of slides. So first of all, it's very easy. It's the easiest GUI evaluation you've ever, ever done. Just forget about those days where you had to install different softwares, different IDEs, to link these projects, to compile them and so on. It's all over on that. You don't take, take care about it anymore. So for this GUI evaluation, you do not have to install any software. You don't have to install IDEs or compiler. The only thing you have or you have to provide is a kind of hardware like a PC or um, yeah, the PC itself, um, a browser and a USB port and the rest of that what you require for your evaluation it comes with the displayed package which is the hardware itself, the TFT and the RX microcontroller, uh, a J-Link debugger and the required to 
required CD with all the content. So all this comes in a package and uh, enable you to make an easy evaluation. So if you put that DVD or that CD in your drive and you get that started, it's kind of HTML file on there, you come to that kind of uh, display. Uh, it's introducing you to the solution kit itself, um, it's explaining a bit of back background and what we have uh, put up here. And it shows you a kind of uh, link, install JLink drivers. So you need to get connected to JLink, uh, which comes in the package, with the package, to your PC and then you have to install a JLink driver. That's actually the only thing you have to do. <clears throat> From there, after installation, you go to Software Suppliers tab. Software Supplier tab, you can choose which software you want to install on the target. As we have seen, there are different solutions available, and you pretty much cherry pick what you like to see on the RX display kit running. So in that specific case, we have just chosen, for example, the test Gugliani software package running. So we're going to click on that and it will be automatically move you to a page where all the benefits, the software name itself, um, what is shown by the demo, an overview of the features and the benefits as well as user instructions are shown. Important for you, there's a small button at the bottom on that slide. It shows Ron Giuliani. You're going to click that one and it will automatically download the software to your target system. Remember, you do not have to compile, you do not have to link. It's just there. You just click the button, it comes automatically to your target. So after installing it on the target, you will be able to play around with the software solution. You have the chance to, um, it's, this is a specific case for Gilgani, for example, where you just click on one or the other button to see what's happening, how it reacts, how it performs. So if you have seen enough of that, you just choose another software supplier, clicking on the button uh, to download it and you try again another solution. So this enables you to make this kind of GUI software packages evaluation in roughly 15 minutes, all of them. You will have a basic overview, what's available, what's the benefit and how it works. Just consider how much time you would have spent just downloading and compiling and linking every single project by your own. You save a lot of time, enabling you to make a smart and f f quick demos to your management. <clears throat> so the summary, so the RX display kit uh, includes um, the RX microcontroller 63M, which comes with 2 megabyte flash and 128k of RAM. Um, it drives the white QVG8 display, which is on the front side of that kit. It comes with a JTAG debugger. Um, it offers you a communication module as an optional op uh, item, and it offers you a one-click easy GUI demonstration which enables you to analyze and evaluate the alliance partners like Segar, Droughtner, Expert Logic, IS2T, TESS, as well as our own Renaissance demo software. So it's a one-click evaluation, hardly to find somewhere else. And it's good, it's available by now. You can order it. The part name is shown there, white display stroke IT stroke RX. Um, furthermore, I like to have a kind of call to action. We have a special promotion on this solution kit right now. You have a chance to win a solution kit. Uh, for that purpose, you can go online and go to renaissance.eu/rxhmi. On that web page, you will find a kind of banner on the right hand side. And you're going to click on that. You can see the banner here on the right hand side of the screen on the slide. 
Uh, you click on that banner and then you can register your own to win a solution kit. The direct link of that solution kit registration is seen here as well. <clears throat> so feel free to register yourself. If you're interested in more in R uh, Rx or Renzas itself, it's, uh, you can go to YouTube to see different videos about Renzas solutions. Um, <clears throat> we have Twitter channel, we have a Facebook uh, appearance as well as Google Plus. So have a look and find out more about Renzas. If you have any further questions, Please feel free to get in touch to us, send us an email, give us a call. We are more than happy to help you. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you had some <coughs> good information received and uh, it will be beneficial for your future activities. Thank you very much.